A couple of months ago, I got a new editing laptop. And even though I don't leave the house to go to work, I do bring it between my little shop, to the house, upstairs, downstairs, back out again. And I've been thinking lately that I really need a sleeve. I mean, I'm terrified of accidentally spilling something on it or banging it against something as I'm moving it around. And the other thing is, I am always forgetting my mouse pad when I bring it around and I can't edit videos without a mouse. So that's the challenge. I need a laptop sleeve and I need a mouse pad. Ideally, seamlessly combined in a clean design. Now for material, I'm thinking leather. I've made laptop sleeves in the past, but always using fabric. The other thing is I have a leather mouse pad on my desk and that works great. So I figured if the sleeve is made in leather, then it seems easier to somehow incorporate a mouse pad into the design as well. So first of all, I looked through my leather supply and I found this beautiful piece of veg tan leather. I would say it's about 1 16th of an inch, about four ounces, so pretty thin. And I think it may be just big enough for this project. Now the trick is to figure out how to design it. I mean, when it comes to a laptop sleeve, you have the horizontal versus the vertical way to go. And at first I was thinking horizontal, maybe because that's how I made these in the past. But when I tried to incorporate the idea of the mouse pad into that, vertical just makes more sense because you have the flap that can be used. First of all though, what works best for a mouse pad, leather or suede side? I, I mean, I feel like they both kind of work. The leather side is a little bit more slippery, if you know what I mean. The suede side offers a bit more resistance, which in my opinion is a good thing. But I would say it's a matter of preference. But this actually works out quite well because think about it, you make a little bag and then you use the interior, so the inside of the flap, for the mouse pad. So when it comes to designing things like this, I love using paper and making little models to try it out. I just find that to be a lot easier to visualize as opposed to sketching it on paper only. Um, and also, I mean, using a nice piece of leather like this, you really don't want to mess it up. When you're using fabric, it feels more okay to make mistakes and you can you know, make a couple if it doesn't turn out quite right. But leather is expensive and you don't want to you know, go through several trial runs when you're just making it for yourself. Okay, so if I have this big flap, which is the mouse pad, then how do I keep it down? How do I close this lid? Here I'm testing out an idea of a strip of leather to attach, um, to tuck the flap into. Although then I realized that I'm gonna put the laptop on top of the sleeve with the mouse to the side. And I don't want the laptop to be sitting in this unbalanced kind of um, unsteady way. Which also means that I don't want to use any snaps, anything that's going to protrude and make the laptop sit kind of wonky on top. Um, but before getting to that, time to just square up the leather and see what I've got to work with here. And I realized here that the piece of leather is just a touch too small to cut into two pieces but if I fold it over, then I could make it work. And then I need to cut out a piece uh, where the laptop ends, so it leaves me with a section for the flap.
Now, since it is like a flap, but it's also a mouse pad, I thought a roundish shape would be the easiest way to go. Um, and basically I'm just making it as large as I can with the materials that I've got to work with here. Now to close this flap here, I figured instead of adding an extra piece to tuck the flap into, um, why not cut a section out of the existing sleeve? So it'll be like a little built-in strap. And uh, that way nothing protrudes, it's nice and sleek, but it has the same function. And I didn't have any dividers here on hand, so just using my woodworking marking gauge uh, to create a line for punching the holes. I'm using a saddle stitch for the stitching, which is nice and strong and mainly I like it because if the stitching was to break or cut at any point, then the whole thing doesn't unravel. And uh, this folding over situation worked out pretty good since I didn't have to <laughs> stitch that side. Normally that's not what I would have done. I would have cut out two pieces and sewn them uh, together on both sides, but hey, this works too. And then testing it out. It's always a funny thing when you make a bag or a sleeve for something in particular, because you want it to be a really snug fit but not so snug that it's not going to fit. But then you also need to take into account that the leather is going to stretch a little bit over time. So yeah, I'm very happy with this fit. It is very snug, but over time it will loosen just a little. Now securing this flap like this works, but perhaps I should have made the cut for the strap a little bit higher so it would have a little bit more material to kind of tuck in because it doesn't stay in that well. So I started to think about ways that I could secure it a little bit better. Um, first I thought maybe I could use magnets, because I really like this closure for leather. But then I thought, is it really a good idea to store a laptop long term next to magnets? I don't know, but maybe not. Um, then I thought about a snap, but I really don't want to push down on the laptop to secure it. Plus then you have that question about unevenness. Um, but then I thought about why not make a little hook situation in leather on the very end of the flap um, and I really like this idea. It is clean, it's simple, it doesn't rely on any other materials. So I'm just testing out a couple of different shapes and designs here on paper before uh, committing to it on leather. So here's the piece that I ended up with, and it just secures the flap a little bit further once you push it through, and it keeps it in place. 
um, here I was also thinking that it might look better if I stitch the whole side of the flap as well, just around to make it look more consistent. Okay, so let's try it with the laptop with the stitching all done. Um, and yeah, I must say it works really well. Um, this design definitely keeps the flap in place, but it's easy enough to take it out and open it up and use it as a mouse pad. And I also like that it didn't create any weird protrusions, it didn't raise up the mouse pad like too much to make it uncomfortable to use. Now I love the lightness of the color of this leather, but I also realized that any drop of water, any dirt, it's going to show up like crazy. So I really need to add some sort of protection. So just using some leather conditioning here. Um, and this makes it just a touch darker, but not much. And I added two liberal coats, let it sit for a while and then wiped it off. I might even add more another day because ideally I want to be able to wipe this case off if it gets dirty and just give it a bit more protection. But here we go, all done now, so let's try it out again. It's still quite snug to get in and out, which is perfect and the mouse pad works great. You know, there's nothing more frustrating as when you're using something for a mouse pad, like a book or a piece of paper that doesn't quite work right, so your mouse is skipping, uh, but this gives you just the right amount of resistance. And I've actually come to really love this design of this closure. Um, at first when I did it, I was like, oh, it, it's okay, it's, it's fine. Um, but then as I've been using it, it works really well. And I think it just adds a nice visual detail um, without being too much, if you know what I mean. Because when I was first thinking about this case, I really wanted it to keep it really simple and let the leather shine, um, try to get really clean stitching. And I think it looks good. So yeah, you can take this idea if you're looking for a design for um, a laptop sleeve and model it from the size of your laptop and create one with materials that you have on hand. And if you do, I would love to see your take. Um, I want to say a big thanks to my patrons for supporting this channel. Uh, please let me know if, if you have any questions in the comments below and thanks for watching.